Hi there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some of your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one. So we have here the Alma Bibi from the new Spring in the City collection from Louis Vuitton, as well as the Alma PM in the classic Damier Abin. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a detailed review of the new Alma BB in this new fabrication. And I will be doing, as while I do the detailed review, a comparison with the Alma PM. I also have a few straps here that I will be using to demonstrate on the bags. So if that sounds interesting to you, follow along. I do think this may be a bit of a longer video, at least longer than I usually film. So I will put timings in the uh, description box below. So feel free to look in the description box if you're only interested in a few things relating to these two bags. Hopefully that will help you skip ahead to the parts that you're interested in. First, let's take a quick look at this Alma BB. This is in the Damier Azur coated canvas, which is one of the three classic canvases offered by Louis Vuitton. The three classic canvases being their monogram canvas, this brown Damier Bean canvas, and the Damier Azur. However, even though this is a classic canvas, this style, the Alma BB, at least in the United States, was not being offered in the Damier Azur. So this style was released uh, in this canvas print, uh, as I said earlier, as part of the Spring in the City collection, which launched on March 22nd. So the fabrication is this coated canvas in this beautiful creamy white and blue-gray checkerboard pattern which is again one of their classic canvases. Typically this canvas is offered with the Vachetta leather, which is that beautiful light honey color leather. Uh, it's an untreated leather, so it does patina and darken over time. That's typically what's offered with this canvas. However, this special edition Alma BB has a treated white leather and it's a very creamy white leather, as you can see. And it also has this braided handle, again, which is a bit of a twist. The uh, handles are typically this plain rolled handle without the braiding. However, this special edition has this beautiful pink and brown braiding on the handle. As you can see on the handle, there are two clasps to connect the strap. The BB style does come with a crossbody strap that you can attach, and I'll do that later. The interior of the bag, again, is the same as the classic Alma BB. It is a uh, light pink uh, rose ballerine fabric interior with one slip pocket in the back, and otherwise it's just open. So this is the standard Alma BB model with the exception of the treated white leather instead of the Vachetta leather and the braided handle instead of the plain rolled handle. Now let's talk about the differences between the Alma PM and the Alma BB. There's only a few differences because they really are the same model, just in two different sizes. So that is, of course, the main difference. The Alma BB is smaller than the Alma PM, which stands for a petite model. There's a larger Alma that is the Alma MM, which is the medium model, which is a larger. So, of course, the size is different. As far as the interior, one difference is the slip pocket inside. This has two larger slip pockets. They're deeper and wider. This one, of course, because the bag is smaller, the slip pocket, there's only one, and it is not quite as deep. And both slip pockets, I have here a shopper card that's about the size of a standard credit card. And you'll see that's how large the slip pocket is. This slip pocket is the same size across, but it is much deeper. And there's two. 
So that's the only difference in terms of the interior. Uh, in terms of the exterior, as I said, the size is different. So let's take a closer look at that. Let's start with the base. I'll flip the handles up. So as you can see here, the Alma PM is a few inches longer. It's also about an inch wider. And in terms of height, let me just line these up and I'll flip the handle down. You can see it's also a few inches taller. So these are lined up at the base and you can see it is significantly larger. So this is just a visual of the size difference and we'll do them side by side. I'm not going to give you the measurements because you can look that up on the website for each one, but just visually, this is how different they look. And at the end of the video, I will insert some mod shots of these. So that's the size difference. Two other differences I wanna talk about. One is the strap. The Alma BB comes with a strap. This is what the strap looks like. This is the standard strap for the Alma BB. It is thin, it is removable from the bag. However, it is not adjustable. The Alma PM does not come with a strap. So you can only use this bag top handle as it is sold from Louis Vuitton. This one, as it's sold from Louis Vuitton, of course you can use it top handle. You can also use it with or without the strap. You, so you can also wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. However, what you can always do with the PM, even though it doesn't come with the strap, is it still has these two hooks. So you can always use a bandolier from a different bag. What I typically do is, actually I typically do carry the Alma handheld, but if I do want a strap attached, this is the strap from the Speedy 30 bandolier that I have. And this is the strap with the extender in the middle. So I could use this crossbody. So it does have the hooks here. Even though it doesn't come with the strap, you could use this one. And this size strap, I think, complements the PM size very well. You could also buy a different aftermarket strap if you're comfortable with that. You can find straps that are made to look like Louis Vuitton straps on um, you know, sites such as Etsy. Uh, and I'm not sure if you can buy bandoliers separately from Louis Vuitton. I'm sure that would probably depend on what country you live in, what's being offered in your country, but that might also be something to look into. And finally, the last difference, of course, is the price. So if you are comparing apples to apples, as they would say, if, so for example, if we had this Alma PM in the monogram canvas, and the Alma BB in the monogram canvas, you would be looking at approximately $200 more US dollars for the PM size versus the BB size. Same if you were looking at both of these in epi leather or both of these sizes in emprunt leather, you would be looking at a higher price, a few hundred dollars higher for the PM size versus the BB size. One exception I do want to point out is this particular Alma BB in the Damier Azur. Because it has the treated leather as opposed to the Vachetta leather, and because it has the braided handle as opposed to the plain handle, and because it's a limited edition, uh, I think it's a limited edition anyway. Uh, it was part of the Spring in the City collection release. If anyone has any information about how long this style will be available. Feel free to comment below and let us know. But for those reasons, this bag is priced higher than even the PM model in Canvas. This bag is priced at uh, $2,160. So you are looking at a bit more money for this 
uh, special design. Let's take a quick minute just to look at the strap that comes with this bag, as well as other strap options that may or may not work with this bag. This is the strap that comes with the bag. Uh, if you saw my unboxing video, which I will link to above, this is the standard strap that comes with the Alma BB. However, because this style is new to me, I only have the PM size, which did not come with a strap. When I opened it, initially, this strap was a bit thinner than I was expecting. I'm used to a thicker strap, as I mentioned, such as this one that comes with the Speedy Bandolier. And if you look at it closely, it's about half the width. So if you line them up, you can see how much thicker the bandolier strap is. So I do use this bandolier that came with my Speedy, of course, with the Speedy. However, if I do need a strap for the Alma PM, this is the strap that I use. It's thick enough that it does complement the size of that bag well. Um, but this is the strap that comes with the BB. It was a bit smaller than I was expecting. However, uh, now that I've used the strap on the bag, I do actually like it because this bag is very petite. It's very cute. This size strap complements the bag very well. I personally don't think it digs into my shoulder, even though it is a thinner strap. However, I have a high tolerance for that. I know a lot of people complain that the Neverfull straps are too thin, and personally, I don't think the Neverfull straps are too thin. They don't bother me. They don't dig into my shoulder. So I may not be the best judge of this, but for me personally, this strap is not too thin. I think it works really well with the bag. As I said earlier, I will include some mod shots at the end of this video of me wearing this bag. Um, and I'll include the information again at the end, but just for reference, I am five foot eight. So I'm a bit on the taller side. Uh, however, this strap does work well for me. If you are quite a bit shorter, you may want to try this on in the store. Or if that strap doesn't work for you, again, because the length is not adjustable, you could use a different strap. So here's a little chain strap. This is from the Felici Pochette. And I think this chain actually looks really cute with this bag. I think a lot of people will probably adamantly disagree with me. <laughs> I don't know, comment below. Let me know what you think. But I think this could work really well if you wanted to dress up the bag a little bit or take it from day to night or say you wanted to wear this a, a bit of a fancier occasion where you wanted to use the bag top handle but you just wanted to have a strap option uh, in case you needed to go hands-free at any point. I think this actually looks really cute together and I think it's nice that if you're not using the strap you can sort of double it up a little bit um, and almost hang it like a bag charm. I didn't do it up very well in, in this case, but you could fiddle around with it a little bit more. And I think it kind of dresses up the bag, even if you're not using the chain. So again, I will use this uh, chain when I do mod shots at the end, but I think it kind of works. Uh, I don't have the thicker chain strap, such as the style that comes with the Kusan, um, but you could also try that. I think this thinner chain works well because this is a smaller, more dainty bag. I think if you went with a thicker strap, obviously this color doesn't work, but if you went with a thicker strap, such a, actually I'll just tuck it on really quick, such as the one that comes with the Speedy Bandolier. If you were to find one of these in a white color, I really don't think this would work. For me personally, it's too thick for such a dainty little bag. You know, if we can just ignore the color for a moment and look at the size, I think it's way too big and it really doesn't work well. 
Now let's take a look at what fits inside this bag. I have some items laid out here that we're going to put inside. Although first I do need to apologize because I said in my unboxing video that this bag could fit a long wallet in it. And I don't know what I was thinking because here is my Tory Burch wallet. That's a long wallet and it clearly does not fit. For reference, this wallet is about the same size as the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. It's the same height and depth, except it's about a half an inch longer. But even if you went with the Zippy, which is half an inch shorter, it still would not fit. Even if that half inch could tuck the wallet inside the bag, it would basically take up most of the interior. So this bag does not fit a long wallet. I apologize. I don't know what I was thinking when I said that. However, it does fit a lot. I have this, again, another Tory Birch wallet here. This is a compact wallet that is comparable in size to the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. So we'll put that right there. I also have my six key holder from Louis Vuitton. We'll put that in right next to the wallet. Again, I apologize for the poor lighting. It's just about to rain here, so the sunlight I had just went away. Put that back. This is the mini pochette accessoire, and this is what I keep all of my miscellaneous items in. I have some wet wipes, uh, some makeup items, whatever else I need to carry in my bag because it does make it quite easy for me to transfer from one bag to another. So as you can see here, that all fits very nicely inside. I have a mask. We're mostly off of masks, at least in the United States. However, there are some situations like most medical and doctor's offices still require masks. So I'll slip that inside. It doesn't take up much room. I also have this LG phone, which for size reference is comparable to the and it is pouring outside. I don't know if you can hear that rain. Um, this is comparable in size to the iPhone 11 Pro. So again, we will slip that inside and everything fits nicely. I've also, just for fun, this is typically what I would carry with me. And as you can see, there's plenty of room. But just for fun, I also have my Beats earphones. I know everybody is all about the AirPods, but I'm a huge fan of the Beats. This is a total side note, but AirPods are very uncomfortable in my ears. And if you have not tried the Power Beats, I highly recommend them. So if you have any other items such as a compact or AirPods or earphones that you carry with you, they slip in very comfortably on the side. That's what I would carry with me. The one exception I would make is for sunglasses. I personally prefer to keep my sunglasses in the case. This would clearly not fit in the bag. However, if you are comfortable with keeping your sunglasses out of the case, you could very easily just slip those on top. And that bag is now filled to the brim. That is as much as you could fit in there without overpacking it or stretching out the sides. So as you can see, it really does clearly fit all of the essentials, but it is packed to the brim. So now let's take all of this out and we'll transfer it into the PM and see how everything fits in there. So let me go first with the mini pochette. We will take out the compact wallet, put that in. We will take out the six key holder, place that in there. We will take out the phone. Could even just sit that upright next to the wallet. There's plenty of height if that is upright in there. And again, I apologize for this poor lighting, but all of my sunlight just went away. We'll throw that mask in, we'll throw those headphones in, and look how much more room you still have in there. So let me take these sunglasses and I'll put them back in the case. 
So here is the case. And look at that, plenty of room. You could still fit even more items on top. Uh, you could fit easily a long wallet. Let me take out this mini wallet. And here's the Tory Burch that I showed you earlier. Just move some of the items around and it fits in there very nicely. It's a little unorganized right now, but everything fits very well. And then now we'll zip it up. And there we go. That is everything in there. You could also very easily fit the pochette accessoire in here. I have the mini pochette, but you could easily even fit the full size in there as well. And finally, let's take a look at some mod shots. For reference, I am five feet eight inches tall and I am a US women's size 12. So we'll take a look at me holding the Alma BB and the Alma PM top handle as well as in the crook of my arm. And as I mentioned earlier, even though the PM doesn't come with a shoulder strap or a bandolier, for the purpose of comparison, I'm going to look at this with my Speedy 30 bandolier attached so we can see how both of these bags work crossbody as well as how they both work on the shoulder. That's everything I've prepared for today's Alma BB detailed look as well as comparison to the Alma PM. If you're interested in any other information, if there's anything I forgot to cover, please do let me know in the comments section below and I will be sure to answer those questions for you. As always, thank you again so much for spending some of your time with me today and I hope to see you in my next video.